News 46, local coverage you can count on. Ramp Nugget is excited to announce September's $21,000 Progressive Cash Giveaway. Every Friday and Saturday, every hour from 4 to 8 p.m., we're giving away cash. At 9 p.m., be there for your chance to win a $1,000 Maverick Gas Card. Looking for the best place in town to watch Monday Night Football? Look no further. Starting September 12th in the Event Center, we've got all the NFL action you need. For only $10, you'll enjoy complimentary buffet, five raffle tickets for great prizes, Coors and Coors Light on tap for only a dollar. Where the fun never stops, Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. Well, they say you don't know what you've got till it's gone. That holds true for the Bob Road Community Center here on Highway 160 and Basin, where the citizens of our community lost a venue for events, birthday parties, and all sorts of meetings. I'm holding a five-page report from Environmental Microbiology Labs. We received this yesterday. We're going to speak to town manager Bill Kolbarger. Uh, basically a preliminary report from the lab in California. Converse Consulting came out last Friday and did some air quality testing. And in the report, it states that we have two major issues with two different types of mold. When that first started and you guys thought there might be mold in there, we had some testing done at that time. Was it the same labs as this or what's going on there? It was Converse Consulting who came out and did it. I'm not sure if they use the same lab. I'm sure they probably do, uh, do but I have to check the old report. Um, and the levels have increased a little bit in room A. And room A is the main area where we had um, the rain coming in. Yes, it, uh, the, actually the rain came in between A and B, uh, but what Converse is thinking is happening is we had a lot of dry, wall, dry rot in room A, and that's where the mold is breeding. Wow. So. The results say that the main room um, is very low in mold right now. Oh, the, the, actually, the main room where we hold the where we used to hold the town board meetings and where everybody gathers is ha, has no issue at all. What are we going to do from here? Well, the town board last night at the town board meeting decided not to open up the main hall to and then seal off room A and B because Mr. Lewis and I, Matt Lewis, Buildings and Grounds Manager, couldn't guarantee 100% containment of the mold from getting into the main area. So the town board took our recommendation based on the reports and the numbers that were in that report and stated, let's go out for RFP at the uh, task force recommendation and let's get the roof repaired. Then we're gonna do the remediation and then we're gonna do the inside and we're gonna open it up for the, in open up the entire root center for the community. And hopefully we'll have it done by no later than Thanksgiving of this year. Wow, that's gonna be fabulous. And we're shooting for that date. Uh, we know how important it is for the holidays and for a lot of the church groups and activity groups that uh, are in and around Pahrump to use the Bob Root Community Center. So Mr. Lewis and I are really going to attack it and hopefully we can get it done by then. And so we're going to put out this RFP. Are we, are we thinking about what, how much it's going to cost at this point? Uh, no, that's what the RFP is going to determine. And we're going to do both roofs. At least that's what the town board and uh, task force recommendation was. And the town board, town board accepted it last night, so we're moving forth. Is there any insurance coverage on this at all? Yes, approximately $43,000 will be covered by the uh, in pool and pack. It does not cover the mold remediation and the actual rebuilding of the inside of A and B. That's totally on the town of Prump, and we're looking at probably twenty-seven five to 30000 out of our own pocket to do that. And is there any other improvements that we're going to make or changes that we're going to make to the Bob Brew Community Center? Not to my knowledge. We're just going to deal with the roof, the remediation, and rebuild A and B, uh, put back all the insulation, the uh, drop, drop uh, ceiling, and uh, new drywall in the areas where we cut it out, or where uh, Belfort will ultimately cut it out. Is there any requirements for the people who will be putting in the bids for this because of the problem with mold, and we, are we going to retest? Or? Uh, well, what... The roof is when they, fortunately for the individuals doing the roof, they'll be on the outside of the building. Mm -hmm. So they won't be affected. When the uh, roof is completed, then the individuals coming in will be Belfour, and that's who the insurance company is recommended to come in and do it. Belfour Restoration out of uh, uh, Las Vegas, they will come in and they will do all the restoration, remediation of the mold. And once they get completed, uh, we'll have it tested to make sure it's good. Once it's tested, we'll get certification from both the lab and from Belfort that the work was done. The insurance company signs off. Matt 
Lewis and his guys would go in and rebuild A and B, and we'll open it up. Will we have a grand reopening? No, sure, why not? Thank you so much. You're welcome, Deanna. Have a great day, Perump.